at an exam, we might notice that there's some beginning canine wear. And you're thinking, what's the big deal? Wear is common, but it's not healthy. Similarly, such as obesity is common, but it's not healthy. So let's take a little closer look at the significance of canine wear. What it represents is you initially had a cuss tip on that canine and it's a very important area because it actually provides the guidance when you go side to side. However, if you have pathologic wear on your tooth and you begin to wear the protective tip off of the canine, eventually, if we take a look on the back, you begin rubbing on the back teeth, causing excessive forces to occur. And as you can see, eventually as the tooth gets rocked back and forth, it causes some gum recession. And eventually, it will cause a fracture on the side of the tooth. So wear on the canine at first blush might seem very inconsequential, but aside from the damaging effects at the gum line and the root structure of that tooth, it also has very significant damaging effects on the rest of your chewing system. As you wear down the canine, you lose the protective feature of the lateral guidance it provides. And as we look at the front teeth, once you've lost the protective guidance for side to side motion, you begin seeing significant wear and damage on the front teeth as well. So if we look at the back molars, as you grind and don't have canine protection, you can see that it actually irritates the pulp on the inside of the tooth, which can make your teeth sensitive or sometimes even cause a toothache. Also, it wears down the protective enamel layer of the tooth. The side-to-side -side motion can also loosen a tooth and cause bone loss, and bone is what holds your teeth in your mouth. Unprotected grinding back and forth can fracture a portion of the tooth off. So the loss of the protective guidance provided by the canine doesn't just affect the teeth. As the teeth wear down, it's similar to tires on a car wearing out, and they become imbalanced. And so your bite can become imbalanced. So as you bite down and wear on the teeth, you're also stressing the joint and the muscles of your system, sometimes resulting in severe joint pain or muscle pain or both. If we look more closely at what's going on in the actual joint, referred to as the TMJ, you can see that it also stresses the ligaments and cartilage that are within that joint, sometimes resulting in permanent damage to those ligaments and cartilage that are in the joint. This is something we'd like to avoid, if possible. So I hope you can see now why I become so concerned when I see canine wear, or anywhere for that fact, on any of your teeth. As I said, wear is common, but it's not healthy. The pathology involved with tooth wear, if left untreated, can result in damaging the teeth enough where I need to intervene and actually repair them, or in worst case scenario, possibly even losing a tooth. I want to help you keep your teeth comfortable and healthy, and preferably in your mouth your entire life. That is why we want to do everything we can to protect that hard outer shell of enamel and make sure you don't lose it because it never grows back. This is Dr. Brian Mills. Take care.